10 U.S. citizens or lawful residents are suing the government for placing them on the no-fly list without notice or due process, and then giving them no way to get their names off the list. The first-of-its-kind lawsuit was filed seeking relief for the plaintiffs who are prohibited from flying to or from the United States or over U.S. airspace because they're on the government's no-fly list. The American Civil Liberties Union has brought the suit. None of the individuals in the lawsuit, including a disabled U.S. Marine Corps veteran stranded in Egypt and a U.S. Army veteran stuck in Colombia, have been told why they're on the list or given a chance to clear their names. ACLU's Ben Wisner said, quote, More and more Americans who have done nothing wrong find themselves unable to fly and in some cases unable to return to the U.S. without any explanation whatsoever from the government. A secret list that deprives people of the right to fly and places them into effective exile without any opportunity to object is both un-American and unconstitutional. The lawsuit names the U.S. Department of Justice, the FBI, and the Terrorist Screening Center in the U.S. District Court for the District of Oregon. The Department of Justice Office of the Inspector General found that part of the watch list maintained by the FBI may contain a 35 percent error rate. In a closer inspection of the out-of-date records, the department's auditors found a majority of this sample did not belong on the watch list. The audit also revealed that large portions of the list are governed by no formal processes for updating or removing records.